Hello YouTube and welcome to your second Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we will be covering variables. Now if you know any other kind of language, this is going to be really easy for you. And um, if you don't know what variables are, then you probably shouldn't be watching these videos because you learned those in like 6th grade math. Um, but if you want to watch it anyway, uh, who cares. Um, variables are just pretty much um, letters or it's just an item that is a placeholder for another value. So um, we'll go ahead and declare a variable. We'll just name it int number one, and we'll set it. We don't have to set it equal to anything yet. And then let's go ahead and create another variable int number two. And hold on, let's go ahead and set these equal to something. So, int number one is equal to five, and int number two is equal to eight hundred or eighty. And um, then we'll just go ahead and system dot out dot print line, and we'll just type number one. And now you can see when we run the program it displays the number five and if we come down we can system dot out dot print line number two and now when we run the program it'll print hold on you can see it prints the numbers five and the number eighty so these are variables called integers, which is just any whole number on the number line. It can be negative, it can be, it can be positive, but um, I can't remember how many places it can hold, but it can be a pretty big number and you won't have any problems. You also have double or double. Uh, double can hold any decimal place, so uh, we can do that. And then when we run the program, you can see it, uh, it displays 5.3. Five, four, three. Uh, so doubles decimal place. We have. Um, I don't know if they have these. No, they don't have those. Um, singles dot net. So just ignore that. Um, you have strings. You have a string. And um, a string. Whenever you set a value for it, you always have to put it inside parentheses. So, hello. YouTube and I think it has to be capitalized okay yeah it does so you can see uh, it prints out hello YouTube and 80 there's also boolean and boolean is a, an, a variable type that is either true it's either true or it's false um, later on the tutorials You'll see that you can use this to test things like um, you can set values to false or true and then when a user does something it sets it to the other and then you can test that like if this is false then do this or if this is true then do this um, which is really helpful. Um, what other types of data type? Um, what other data types are there? Um, that's pretty much all you're going to need to know um, for a lot of tutorials that I'm going to be making um, when I start using different data types um, and arrays and stuff then I'll teach them to you then but for now all you need to know is integer double string and boolean um, so go ahead and um, practice making some variables and um, displaying them on the screen Get used to variables, and once you get comfortable, move on to the next tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.